add or question? Kick it away. Okay, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about guinea pigs. Um, I just recently got a guinea pig. Um, a family friend of mine uh, was giving away this guinea pig for free, giving away the bedding, um, her food cage, everything for free, so I had to have her. Okay, um, then that begs the question, why were they giving it away? They were giving it away because they weren't giving her enough attention and they felt bad. So oh, okay. no, that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So just some basic things that you'll need. Um, or a solid bottom cage, um, a water bottle, one that like um, looks on the side of the cage, um, a food bowl, a hay rack, a hide house, two toys, um, aspen, pine, recycled paper bedding, timothy hay, orchard grass, or oat grass, and pellet feed. Um, I also have a blanket that covers her cage. Um, I used to use it more to make her feel more comfortable when I first got her, um, but now I use it uh, to keep the heat in the cage at night. And I also, um, I cut up a towel into little squares and put that in her cage, and she drug it in her house, and it was really cute, so I put that in there, too. <laughs> um, okay, so feeding a guinea pig, um, they get one-eighth cup of pellet-based food per day, um, and the pellet should be free of things like nuts and seeds, so like this feed over here has a lot of nuts and seeds in it, um, because it can cause obesity and it poses a choking hazard. Uh, which this is actually the food that she's eating right now that um, her previous owners gave to me but I bought a new kind of food that looks more like this and I've been mixing the two to kind of wean her off of it. Um, and then grass hay should be available at all times. Um, it provides fiber that they need for digestion and it helps grind down their teeth because um, they're constantly growing. Um, and then three vegetable servings per day um, and then one must be some kind of leafy green. Um, so I give her, oh my guinea pig's name is um, Peanut. But <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's her. Okay. Um, so I give peanut, uh, I feed her carrots, romaine lettuce, spinach, and sometimes sweet peppers. Um, and then fruits are considered a treat um, because of all the sugar, so you're supposed to give them sparingly, um, no more than once or twice a week. She really likes apples. And then uh, vitamin C, so guinea pigs can't store or manufacture their own, so most foods um, will have it like as a supplement in it already, um, but you can give Supplements that come in like tablets or liquids, liquid forms, but I don't because her food is already made that way, like with extra vitamins. Now the pellet that that you buy is this made especially for guinea pigs, or okay, so it yep. says pellets for guinea pigs. Yep. So, so cleaning the cage. Um, so when I clean your cage, I take everything out of it um, and dump the old bedding into a trash bag, um, and I wipe the bottom of the cage clean down with like a disinfectant wipe and then um, replace the bedding with about two inches thick. Um, and then I give her new food and water, uh, and then I spot check the cage every day, so if I can see like little poop, then I'll pick them up. Um, and then I clean her cage once a week. But if you have more than one guinea pig, you should probably clean it more than that. And that's her again. And how old is she, do you know? I don't know, <laughs> but um, this is her. She's in, this purple thing is her like, little hide house, and she flipped it over and she gets inside it that way. Um, all right, so some general health. Um, so the guinea pigs live four to eight years. Um, their eyes should be symmetrical, open, bright, and clear. Um, there sometimes will be a milky type of liquid, but that's normal. Um, it's, they produce it during the grooming process and they'll wipe it away. Um, so any crusty, red, or swollen, watery eyes could be a possible bacterial or um, respiratory infection. Um, so their hair, skin, and body should, normal looking hair, hair and skin and shedding is normal. Um, if there's dandruff, it could be um, a sign of a parasite or some kind of infection, and you should take your guinea pig to the vet. Um, and excessive hair loss and itching could be mites, and you should also take your guinea pig to the vet if you see any like lumps or like scabs or like dry skin. Um, ears, so they should be smooth and clean and not scurfy, which means rough to the touch. Um, so any inflamed or crusty ears could be a possible parasite infection, um, or if they have a head tilt, similar to dogs, it could be an ear infection. Um, so their nose um, should be clear, no discharge. Um, if there's snot and sneezing, um, it could be a sign of an upper respiratory infection. Um, and the feet, um, so it should look clean, soft pads, and um, it's the same thing as a dog, so you cut their nails and you don't want to cut the quick. Um, so sometimes you might have to, like, I have someone mentioned burritoing their cat to cut their nails. You might have to do that to the guinea pig, but luckily, um, the one that I have, she's very social and she just lets me cut her nails. I don't have any problem with it. Um, so, so what your guinea pig's trying to tell you. So I did a little bit of research because I didn't know much about guinea pigs um, when I got her. 
So there's like a whistling, like squeaking sound that they'll make when they're excited. Um, and this could be like, they'll make that during like a feeding time, like when they're playing. Um, they purr. There's a deep for, deep and relaxed versus a higher pitched purr. Um, the deeper one means that they are content and the higher pitched could be that they're annoyed or they're scared. Um, they make a hissing sound too. It's like a chattering of their teeth, which could indicate um, that they're angry or they're aggressive. And they can also make this chirping sound. Um, it's associated when they're in like a trance-like state. It's not really fully understood, but it has been seen in guinea pigs that have recently lost a partner. Um, so I looked up all these because I, when I first got her, I was worried that she was mad at me because she was flipping over her cage and her, or not her cage, her food bowl and um, her house and making a bunch of noises, but it turns out that guinea pigs will flip their food bowls in their houses for fun. So you can get um, heavier dishes or like bowls that attach to the side of the cage, which I currently ordered. Hmm. And this, I just think this video is kind of funny. Do you need sound? Um, it doesn't need sound. Okay. Um, so we'll use our imagination. Yeah. <laughs> um, some common mistakes. Um, so assuming that your guinea pig is fine without a cage mate, um, guinea pigs are really social animals and they will do better if there's another guinea pig with them. Uh, but you should give them about 30 minutes of attention every day. Um, and then also some people will buy a cage that's too small. So this chart I'll let you read it just has some basic dimensions. And then um, neglecting nutrition, so the pellets, like I said, no nuts or seeds. Um, you could feed too many uh, treats or fruit, which um, have too much sugar in them. Um, and they need hay available at all times, um, or they could not be getting enough vegetables. And then using the wrong bedding, so you shouldn't use pine, cedar, or sawdust beddings because the wood shavings um, can be inhaled and cause a respiratory infection and it could be sensitive to their eyes. So what kind of bedding were, did you have on that? Other yeah, I used um, a recycled paper bedding. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Questions, comments about guinea pigs? I guess one question I have is, are they a hindgut fermenter? Digestively speaking, anybody know guinea pigs? I don't know. Do you know? Kind of, if they have to have hay, I mean, <laughs> not every animal that has to have hay has, is a hindgut fermenter or a ruminant, but I know they're not ruminants, but... They might be like a um, a rabbit where they have hay. You know, they need some hay. I don't. Anybody know that? <laughs> Look it up. They are. But they are hindgut fermenter. Okay. Yeah. So that that means they have an active cecum and they're getting nutrients out of that hay that's uh, being digested. Does so they have a large cecum containing up to sixty five percent of total contents of their digestion? Okay. Tract. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I years ago we used to use guinea pigs in a, like a lab I taught, and we used to dissect guinea pigs, but it's been many years since I've dissected one, and I couldn't remember what their cecum was like. Um, anybody ever have, a, anybody else have a guinea pig as a pet? Anybody ever? Okay. Oh, okay. So, how long did yours live? Do you know? Or? I want to say like six years. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. There's a question back have there. Have you ever been bit by it? No, yes. actually, she hasn't bit me, but uh, my sister had a guinea pig when we were younger, and that uh, guinea pig bit me. Um, yeah, uh, we like passed one around in my class when I was a kid, and it bit my dad really, really bad. <laughs> so I just didn't know if they like typically do that, or <laughs> that would just be that he's not okay. socialized enough. But yeah, that's, that's always the I guess the risk with like a guinea pig or a pet rat. Mm -hmm. Those incisors they have are just really sharp, and they sometimes will go right down to a bone. Uh, I know you don't have usually have squirrels as pets, but squirrels, oh my gosh, they have these incisors that will just go right down to the bone. They're so sharp. Um, what about guinea pigs around the world? Anybody tell me about South America and guinea pigs? They are considered a delicacy. <laughs> They're considered a delicacy. Back here. Uh, actually, my family's my daughter, and they actually have a little farm where they raise guinea pigs. For meat for consumption. consumption. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I think if you ever go down to South America, you just might have guinea pig. I don't, you know, The world is interesting, the world around, right? I mean, everybody has their... But I guess I didn't realize it was a delicacy. Well, so, I don't know, because oh. um, when I went there, you can see vegetables, and they have, like, 
vendors just on the street, like grilling them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a rotisserie. Like a chicken. If you go to Sam's Club, there's chickens, and but now it's guinea pigs down there. Yeah. That's the way the world works. Um, I, let's see. Yeah, question. On the flip side, there's like, actually, my parents had a pedigree guinea pig. People sell like pedigree. Oh, pedigreed. Breed specific, yeah. Wow. It's okay. crazy. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, perfect. Get your.